let's take on our next shape. And let's take this next shape on and really start using the power of OO. What I'm gonna do is I really like our circle test. So I'm gonna copy our circle test. And I'm gonna turn it into a square test. And as you can see, I'm writing my test first. I'm actually quite excited about testing. So I'm gonna write my test first. All right, we're gonna test the square. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a shape, which is a new square. We're going to check to make sure the X and Y is where we put it. We're going to create a panel. We're going to draw. We're going to create a square here. We're going to get the shape. We're going to have a look at the shape. We're going to make sure that the tag name, in this case, it's going to be different. It's going to be a triangle. And we're going to make sure, and again, it's not the CX, it's the CY. It's just the X and Y. And let's have a look to see whether that works. Shape. Get element. That's excellent. And so the only thing that's not actually tested here is the move. So in this, I would actually like to add a move test in here as well. Because that would be really quite, quite useful. But for right now, let's just do this. And of course, this test is not going to work because, and I'm going to put square, because we haven't even written any of the square functionality. So the square is actually a rectangle. So let's just extend rectangle, but make it a square. So the first thing we're going to do is find our rectangle. And we're just going to extend rectangle. So class, get right there. Square extends rectangle. And that's it. Let's see if that test now works. It will just fix the test. And that's what I like doing. Just fix the test and then our code should work. All right. So we have an error. And what is the error? Oh. And the error is the default square is not a constructor. All right. And what we did forget to do again is we forgot to add it. We forgot to add it right there. Again, the error wasn't 100% helpful, but it would kind of was helpful. That's another shape that's going to go across. Now let's see what the next error is. It says, oh yeah, panel.createSquare is not a function. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into this guy. Okay, now this we talked about before. Create rectangle and create square. I really don't like that. There is so much duplicate code in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to refactor all this stuff a little later once we have some really strong tests. And again, the best thing I like doing is refactoring and getting rid of code. That's the best thing to do. So we're going to put create a square. Okay, get the next key. This is going to be what we just call the shape. Equals new square. And then we're going to take shape, same error that we had last time. Do this. This is SVG. Shape, get element, return the key. Life is good. All right, let's check that out, see if it works. Now let's fix the next test. Oh, look at that, it's triangle. The heck is that? Expected triangle received rectangle? Oh, I'm just silly talk. So line 51, that of course should be rectangle. I don't know what 
what I was thinking. Let's run the test again, and we'll see where we end up. What next do we fix? Oh, of course, we received rect. It's not rectangle, it's rect. And that's fine, my test is wrong, so I'll update my test. Error. So I have an error in my test, so that's cool. Perfect. So my tests all passed. <laughs> of course, it's not okay. But what we're going to do is we're going to go over to here and we're going to actually add the next button now. So if we look at our HTML, what our HTML actually is, is this is going to be a to-do new circle, or sorry, new square. So we're going to go into here, and we're going to say if to-do, just copy this. And you can see after a while we're copying and pasting lines. We can refactor to get rid of some of this code a little later. New square. We'll console log. We don't really need this console log anymore. We don't really need this anymore. We're going to just create square. It's Q U A R E. All right. And again, when we refactor, we'll get rid of a lot of that stuff. So if we press where, look at that. It put a rectangle there. Well, that makes sense. So what we really want that to be is a square. And we didn't really test to make sure the shapes were the sizes that we expected them to. So let's see if we can correct this one little problem. So if we go into shapes, and in this case, I'm not going to create a test for it because this is a presentation view thing. So I'm just going to fix it. I'm going to use the power of object-oriented programming. So right now here, you'll see that square actually doesn't have anything at all. But what I want to do is when they call update element, this is where I'm going to make a little change. So in square, I'm going to call actually update element. So I'm going to just go super dot update element. So at this point, that will have done nothing different. So if I go here and I say create a square, nothing has changed at all. But after I do that, I'm then going to say if there is a shape, and I'm just going to copy this line right here. I'm going to actually copy all these lines, and then I'm going to delete them all. The only one I want to change is I want to change the height to be 100 as well. So let's just have a look and see what this is going to do. So what this is going to do is when we call square, we extend rectangle, which means everything that gets called is going to be called in rectangle, except for when they call update element. Update element will execute the super of the update element, and then we're actually going to just change the height. So instead of it being 100 by 50, it's going to be 100 by 100. So let's just save that. No test written for that. I feel terrible. Yes, we've got ourselves a square at 100. We're going to create a rectangle. And at 111, we're going to create a circle. Oh, why isn't this circle being created? Is there, let's refresh. Is circle not working? Oh, there it is. Oh, circle is probably too small and it didn't show up. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So everything's working. So let's create our square again and let's push it. Oh, look, it even moves like it should. All right. We have all the shapes going now. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do some refactoring and we're going to have a step back and look at our code and see how happy we are.